So uh, this is my reflow oven and as you can see I have uh, modified it. The original one was okay but uh, it re there's really room for improvement so I'm just gonna give you a quick look. Two buttons here. These are basically so you can override this manually so you can turn the heater on or turn it off, uh, or turn the fan on or off. Um, fan on the side. Um, now I've added a fan on the back as well. Now this is just a 12, uh, a 12 volt PC fan, 120 millimeters. This is constantly spinning, but it's it's spinning really slow. And the reason why is these um, are known for when you do a reflowing when you do boards the heat doesn't catch the outside here you, you really got a small area a lot of the boards on the outside wouldn't be um, soldered so with that fan blowing it just distributes the hot air evenly so it does it get them boards so it does improve it um, keeping this running really slow but constantly also stops this fan from melting if this wasn't spinning, the heat does come back and it will melt this, melt this fan. So again, stop that. You want that spinning nice and slow. I've added a USB 3 connection. This um, powers the um, everything. All from USB 3 port. It's actually running USB 2. But um, I've chose USB 3 just because of the thicker cable. Um, power goes in there. That's what runs the um, the heating elements inside. This runs the controller that controls everything, and also it this does actually um, you can do your own um, things in this controller. But before I turn it on, I'm just going to open it up and show you what's inside. Okay, so I've opened it up. Now I'll just start the go. Here is just something I made. All it does is it controls this fan here, nice and slow, just keeps the speed. There's a little potentiometer there for me to um, alter the speed. Um, I don't know if my camera's picking that up very well. Um, that's massive overkill for this little fan, but it's what I had in my parts bin. But I basically just made that just to control the um, the voltage to that small 12 volt fan. Uh, I haven't actually connected this up yet. I'm going to put a nice little AC 12 volt um, thing in there to power that. This is thermocouple connection which goes back into the controller. When my um, camera zooms, there we go, into the back of this controller. I actually bought this controller second hand off eBay but... I think it's a, a, a Zalus oven controller. Uh, they're still selling them on his website as far as I know. But I actually bought this one second hand. So the uh, thermocoupler connection goes into there. Like so. Now we've got two two uh, solid state relays. H for the heater. This turns the heaters on and off. And this turns the fan on and off. But this turns the internal fan on and off because this fan on the inside if you've got these ones you'll know this is AC not DC so idea being is once you've finished your reflow this fan kicks in to cool everything down um, like I say I've replaced this fan as well this one runs a bit quieter see if you can see the specs there in case you wanna replace yours upside down um, put a bit of um, heat resistant heat shrink on most of these it's not really needed because it never gets hot in here because of this little fan um, there we go this is the USB connection let's see if I can turn this around get a better view okay so there's a better view of it this is the USB connection it's straight into there straight down there into the back of here and then 
we can plug it in there. That powers that controller and power comes through here which goes to the heating elements and the uh, AC fan. Two heat sinks on the side that just bolt through to the other side. Um, so that's really basically it. A bit of um, Capton tape on the top there. Um, that's basically everything really. So I just power it on now. So I'm just going to plug it in now through USB. There we go. And basically you can connect this to your computer, install the drivers, and you can make your own profiles. Um, I've got a couple on here that I've made. And like I say, you can manually override these. Um, say like you finished a profile and it just hasn't quite you know soldered you could quickly close the drawer close the drawer and quickly just chuck the heater on a little bit longer same with the fan I mainly did the fan as a safety thing you know if things get too hot or something I can just quickly kick the fan on and keep the fan on also you can set this um, controller to turn this fan on and off you know once the reflow is finished um, but if you want it on longer, which I normally do, I normally just override it once it's finished, just to keep it on until it's all nice and nice and cold. You could also <laughs> reflow yourself if you wanted to manually like that and not use that controller. So that's that's basically everything really. Um, this is a really good um, controller for these ovens. Um, person that made this. Um, 